sailors because there's so many colors. Do a wave ball. Just do a wave ball. Thank you. 
word choir to come down and sing. We know that your president is not here, but yes. Amen. God bless you.
Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. I want to read that third verse again. Maybe we all read it together. Let's read it. If you got it in your Bibles or you got it on your iPad. I know we used to be putting it up there, but sometimes we need to get our Bible too. Amen. <laughs> if you have it, let's read it. The Lord have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning about unconditional love. Oh, I know this is not the month of love. When we talk about the month of love, we usually think about February. Praise but you know what? Every month is a month of love when you love Jesus. I don't care if you have that special person in your life or not, or if you have a child, a baby. I look back at the newborn baby, and I said, oh, he did good training in here today. Can't, can't that baby stuck through all them drums and all that order and all that dancing. <laughs> Did the body say train them up? <laughs> Honey, that baby ought to sleep through anything. Vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Sirens blast blasting. Thank God. Unconditional love. At the beginning, or actually the end of last year, the beginning of this year, the Lord had put it in my spirit, and I was talking with you about restoration and renewal. And certainly we want the Lord to restore anything that we have lost. Give it back, Lord. That is good for us. Give it back. We want it back, Lord. We need to be restored. And we want to be renewed. We want to be blessed of the Lord. We want to be holy and sanctified and walking in the love of the Lord and doing God's will. We are so grateful to have the love of the Lord in our hearts. Amen? Yeah. Now, God had a special love for Israel. The Bible lets us know if we go back into the book of Genesis that he chose them and they were his special people back at that time. But how many of us know we're special too? Oh, yeah. We're special. Amen. Sometimes if you're the youngest, you think you're special. Yeah. We talked about in our Sunday school, but yeah. you're the oldest, you think you're special. Yeah. Praise God. But I'm glad every one of us can claim being special to the Lord. Yeah. Because we are. I am precious, and I am wonderful, and fearfully made, and I am blessed of the Lord, and highly favored. I thank God. I know I have unconditional love that the Lord loved me so much. When I was reading this scripture, if you go back into the book of Jeremiah, some of the chapters back there, praise the Lord, going on back even into chapter 3. Thank the Lord. We talked about that backsliding condition. Yeah. Anybody know what backsliding is? Meaning that you were started out and then you kind of lost something along the way. You kind of slid back. Praise God. Some of us have gotten in a backslidden condition and we kind of slid back. But don't you know God still loves you? Yeah. The Bible says God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. So it does not matter what you've done or who you are. God loves you. Yeah. I can think of it as a mother. Praise the Lord. I'm a mother and I thank God for you all and my children too. Praise the Lord. I want you to know I love you all. Even when we be bad, our mother still loves us. Amen? Amen. That mother loves you on that worst day. There are mothers that have known their children were serial killers, but they still wanted to plead for mercy for them. There are mothers that knew that their children were serial rapists, but they still wanted to plead for them. Praise the Lord. And there are people that have gone to court and thrown themselves on the mercy of the court, and they've asked for mercy because they know that God is merciful, and they're hoping the court will be merciful. How many of us know that God is merciful? And that he does have an unconditional love. If you read it back in the book of Jeremiah at the very beginning, when God called him and Jeremiah said, I can't do this, I'm too young, I don't have experience, and I can't do it. But God let him know, yes, you can. Before you were even born, before you were formed in the belly, I had chosen you. And I want you to understand, God chose each one of us. Praise the Lord. I don't care what it looks like in your life, what you have done wrong, and where you've fallen short, and where you've been strong, and where you've been weak. I want you to understand, God has chosen you, and God has called you, and ordained you, and don't let the devil make you think anything different. I don't care what's going on. And he told Israel in their backslidden condition that I still love you. I love you, and with love and kindness. Love and kindness. I have joined you. Praise God. Some of us know. Thank the Lord. I'm not talking about my husband now. Thank God. He's a wonderful man. But the first time around, it started out real good. You know how it is. Praise the Lord. Or some of you do. Thank the Lord. It starts out real good. But then after a while, praise the Lord, it got to the place he would stay out late and do other things that, that did not please me and wasn't happy about our marriage. Thank the Lord. But I still loved him. Amen. 
It didn't stop me the first night he stayed out, or the second night, or the second month, or the second year. It didn't stop my love. Praise the And when God loves us, I want you to understand, he loves us no matter what. The devil was going to block in our mind and have us thinking because I did this wrong. God don't love me anymore. God don't want me anymore. God can't use me anymore. But I want you to understand, he said, with love and kindness have I drawn you. He said, an unconditional love. It's not a condition of what you do. Being a parent is not about being conditioned. But we weren't qualified when we became parents the first time. Most of us were not qualified. Some of us were young. Praise the Lord. They didn't know what was going on. Gave us the baby, sent us home. We had read a few books or seen a few things and babysitted a couple of times. And we thought we knew what to do. And then we found out we did not know what to do. But God blessed us to bring those children up anyway. Don't you understand that God loves you too? I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care how good you got it or how bad you got it. How great things are, how bad things are. God loves you. Yes, he does. That's what communion is all about, the love of the Lord. Because if Jesus had not loved us, he would not have shed his blood for the redemption of our sin. He's saying to us today, it is an unconditional love. You can't do something to earn it because all of our righteousness is still correct. When we try to do good, the Bible said when I would do good, evil will present itself. Has that ever happened to you? You start out trying to do the right thing. You woke up in the morning, the spirit is all good. You got a praying spirit. Oh, God is real good. You feel the right sanctified and Holy Ghost filled and God baptized and before nine o'clock in the morning. You got nothing happened and you had a curl all thrown at you and you got mad at somebody and you said some words and you shouldn't have. And you got a ball in your head and you put your hand on your head. And he said, I ain't taking this no more. But God still loves you. Even in my worst state, he didn't say, oh, I want nothing to do with you. I love you. Woo, it's a wonderful thing when you love him. Amen. You know that used to be my thing. And I need to get back to it. We got some new babies coming in here. And we love the new babies. But what about when they get about uh, 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 Madison's age? Oh, what about that? Antonio. Uh -huh. And they start doing a few things and we go, what about when they get Sean's age? And then we get older, what about when they get our age? And we mess up. My mother is a living, but I'd like to believe that she would love me anyway. No matter how old I get, no matter how wrong I get, no matter what happens, she loved me. And I want you to understand that God has got that unconditional love. Praise the Lord. I want to read that verse again. The Lord have appeared of old, saying unto me, Yea, have I loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, have I drawn thee. I want you to understand. God's lift, he's drawing us in. Didn't you feel the pull this morning? If you didn't feel the pull, I don't know what was wrong with you. But you feel the pull. I'm glad to hear your praise and voice and the good. If you didn't feel the presence of the Lord, you need to go back and search yourself. What she said, get another dip. <laughs> we could have got another dip while she was singing that song. While the prayer. Bringing the offering around. Sometimes she said, come around with a smile. Why are you coming with your offering? While the music's playing. While the pastor preaching. While the usher ushering. I need another dip. Because I want to grow strong the Lord. I need that love. Thank you for that. Y'all hear that now? Cause so many church worldly people anyway. It's all worldly. We sing our worldly songs and worldly things and worldly clothes and worldly things and worldly. And worldly. But some of us was worldly right along with it. We weren't so saved. We were saved enough on Sunday morning. I hope my sister won't mind if I use this example. Her first husband before he died, he used to say that me and my other sisters were holy, holy. And she was holy moly. And she came to church. Now she could do some, yeah, she's very creative, always had been. Did the sign language, could do ceramics, did dance, had the band over here with the saxophone and all those things. But he said she was holy moly because she, she just wanted to be on the edge enough so I can come to church. And some of us, that's what we did. But I'm new kid, we just got that little itch there. God still loves you.
goodness of my I cannot do it on my own. When I try to do good, I already told you the Bible, not, my, not Pastor Miller, the Bible said. The man of God said, when I would do good, evil. I know some of us have been in that state. Been in church, some of you had a good old time. Got to work Monday morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Yes, yes, yes. Person in here 
knew that this month the devil gave you a bath. You did this and you did that. Would you go back to church? And he'll make you look like when you walk in the door, he's like looking right at you. Because what happened when that door opened with you? And then I come in and I'm trying to act like everything all right. I don't know something wrong with my skirt. And y'all trying to tell me and I'm thinking they, they know what I did. And then somebody finally told me, here's your skirt. But that guilt will eat you up. Don't let guilt keep you out, church. This is the hospital. This is where you come to get the letter. This is where you come to feel the love. This is where you come to feel the spirit. And this is where you come to get baptized. Now, this is Jesus we're talking about. 
who has all wisdom, all knowledge, all understanding, all power, forgiveness in his hands, but he just stooped down and wrote. Okay. Jesus, what you gonna say now? We found her. And as we like to say, they didn't bring the man down. No, they didn't. Might have been one of them. All right. <laughs> probably how they knew. All right. If it wasn't that day, it probably was the day before, the day before, the day before. But now we done caught her with somebody we don't like or somebody who we don't care about. And what you gonna do about it, Jesus? After a while, Jesus straightened up and said, He without fault. Cast the first stone. And you never messed up. I mean, you never, never, never. Never, 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 never. Never, 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 never. never. never, 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 never. And I don't have to say that many numbers because we done messed up so far back before my numbers got to me. <laughs> Why are we so critical of our sisters and brothers? But then when it happens to my household. Now, last Sunday, Chief Jonathan Davis wasn't here. He wasn't feeling good. He could have been here. Now, today, my husband's not here. He's not feeling well. Well, Rudy is just so sick, you know. Oh, this is my husband's sick. Oh, it is your husband, your wife, your child. Lord, that's the one thing I love about Jesus because he shows so much compassion. You ask me why I want to show compassion because that's what Jesus did. Jesus showed so much compassion when he knew they were wrong and he knew they were scheming against him and he knew they were trying to trick him and he knew they were trying to kill him and all these things. Now you mean to tell me when you come into the Garden of Eden and I see you coming, Sister Iris, I know who you are. I know what you're coming for. Now you know from afar off the blood of Jesus shall prevail. Then everybody turned around and looked to see. The blood of the, ooh, what did she do? What did she do? Jesus let Judas walk right up to him and kissed him on the cheek. I'm talking about unconditional love. Now that's some love. I know you mean me wrong. I know you're out to get me. And not only, but then you want to do it when people are around. You know how we are. Now I know you messed up at home. But I want to wait to get to church and then I saw the Lord and, and, and he saw something you did and, and you need to get it right. Now, why did I call you up and tell you that? But I want to wait till I get you from the whole church. And sometimes hope will be but sometimes we need to have some compassion and love. They thought Jesus was going to rebuke that woman and I believe they would have been. But they didn't know. So then Jesus got back down again. He without fault. By the time he got up, I saw different pictures how they depicted. And when we talk about stones, we usually think of little pebbles, you know. But when they used to stone people back in Bible days, they had special places that they would take them. And they would have stones that were uh, big like this Bible. Uh, big like this tambourine. And some stronger men probably had bigger ones. Now, I'm not going to flat, but I'm going to big old rock. And they would stone you till you were dead. They would literally bury you under the stones. They didn't have to worry about burying you because you were dead. You were buried. That was your burying. They thought Jesus was going to do that. But his unconditional love. I'm so glad he had that kind of love. I'm so glad he had that kind of love for you. I'm so glad that he continues to love us and remember us. He said that he would take our sins and put them in the sea. And they would not rise up against us. Isn't that good news? That he will put it back there. Hallelujah. How many of us haven't had debts that have been forgiven? We thought, and then something came up and then they brought it back all up again and said, well, you go to this or you filed a chapter 13 or you filed a chapter 7 or you did this, that, and the other. And they tried to bring all these up things. But aren't you glad that God will put it back? Now, we bring it up about each other. That's right. That unconditional love, he said, that's my child. When he sees us, he sees. That's why I said, it's about the communion. This is all about love. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we shall be called the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like it. Because we shall see him. Don't you think it's just coming up here and taking away from him a little bit of juice? This is talking about the love that he has. I love you so much, I will give my life. Yes. Now, yes. something is somebody coming in, someone shoot you in the head, and I'm dead and gone. Thank 
of Jesus. But if they say we're going to torture you all night long. Torture you all night long. All night long. All hallelujah night long. But he loves us so much that he endured it all. I was so despising the shame. He loved us so much that God just allowed the son and the son just went through all of this that he could shed his blood. And his body be torn, the skin of his body, not his bones, but his skin could be torn and beat up and, and bruised and, and, and just messed up. That we could be saved. I want you to understand what unconditional love is all about. And for Scott, Dr. Scott, been married 50 years. I believe they know about some love. Amen. <laughs> That's some love. Amen. You can give the bad sickness and help. Richard, poor, don't have, yes. want, don't want, uh -huh. need, yes, need. Yes. 50 years. <laughs> yes, longer than a whole bunch of y'all been <laughs> Some of y'all, we can put a few of y'all together, these children, we can probably put all their ages together. God loves us with yes. unconditional, everlasting yeah. love. His love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of you. So whatever happened in your life today, I'm not asking, you don't have to call me, you don't have to tell me. No, let me just pray for you. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you, you might be wrong, but I'm not going to Oh, don't you come back to church with you too. If God had not loved me, if God had not forgiven me, where would I be? Would you stand all over the church? Don't ask the person next to you what they did, just grab their hand. If you're close enough to somebody, just grab yeah. them. Don't ask them what they did. You too know me. That's why usually when you come up for prayer, Pastor, don't even ask you. Because I can't forgive your sins. But I know someone who can. I can't make it right. But I know someone who can. And I know he loves each one of us in here today. And not only those of us that are here. <coughs> but he loves us all. And Father, I thank you for your love. Jesus, you love me even when I was not always loved. When we fell short, Lord, and when we didn't obey you, when we didn't give in to your will, when we didn't yield to you, Lord, when we didn't come to church, when we didn't pay our tithes, when we didn't show love, when we were hard-headed and disobedient and stepping back, just as you told Jeremiah about the Israelites. We too have been stepping back. We too have been judgmental. We too have been evil. We too have done wickedly. But you loved us in spite. Let us show that love so that we can draw men in by our love. That they will know that we are your disciples by our love. That they will know that we are obedient by our love. That they will know why we praise and worship by our love. Not just because we dance, Lord. Not just because we wave our hands and we sing a good song and we have harmony and unity. Not because we praise or we preach, but because of our love. That woman that's outside of our church, Lord, trying to stay warm and trying to find a comfort place. Those in our families that may not have everything that they need. Our unborn babies that are attached to this ministry. Our elderly, Lord, those of us that are moving up the scales of time, I thank you, Lord, that you loved us in spite of Oh, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your love. Let us show love one toward the other. Let us love our fellow man. Take out the hate. Take out the deceit. Take out the malice. Take out the backbiting. Take out the guile. Don't let us talk about our sisters and brothers. Don't let us talk about the pastor and the deacons. Don't let us talk about the elders and the saints. But let us show love. I thank you for your loving kindness that drew us to this place today. I believe it was needful for us to be here today. And I thank you for blessing us to be here. And now, Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my 
you may be seated. Amen. 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 We get ready for communion. chapter 11 started reading this a long time ago and I know some of you say you've heard it hundreds of times if not thousands now but I want you to understand that it's still good for the soul for I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed when he had given thanks and break bread and took it and eat this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him give, excuse me, eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning or deserving the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, you do it yourself, not me, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. If you feel that you are prepared and you're ready to take the communion, please come on up and join our circle. I want you to be sure and understand. It is a blessed privilege to be able to take up the Lord's broken body. For the Lord's blood that was shed. It is a privilege and a blessing to be a part.
Let me fill the cup with the grape juice to represent his blood, the blood of Jesus. There's nothing like the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood that cleanses and washes. Because of your blood, we are healed. Thank you for the blood, Lord. Bless this juice as it represents your blood that drank down from your ground, from your back. In Jesus' name. And then he drank and gave his disciples.